Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top five reasons why your washing machine is leaving marks on your clothes. Stick around to the end of the video for an important washer safety tip that most people don't even know about. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. First thing we're going to check is the lint filter. It filters the lint out of the wash water so it doesn't get on your clothes. There are many types of lint filters. Depending upon your style of washer, it could be one that you have to take out and clean, or it may be a self-cleaning filter. If it's missing, clogged, or damaged, it could allow lint to build up and leave marks on your clothing. On newer top loaders, for filters you have to clean manually, they're mounted to the inner tub. Self-cleaning filters are usually located inside the machine, either under the agitator or in between the two tubs. Front loaders usually have a filter done by the pump, some are accessed by lifting up a small cover on the front panel. And on other models, you'll have to take off the whole access panel. If it gets clogged, you'll just have to take it out and clean it. But if it's damaged or missing, you'll need to replace it. If you need to order a part, simply go to AppliancePartsPros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you, or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. Next, we need to look at the agitator. It agitates the clothes during the wash cycle. There are many styles of agitators that have been used over the years. Some are all one piece, and others have an upper and lower agitator. The agitator is located in the center of the inner tub. If it's cracked or damaged, your clothes could be snagging on it, leaving marks on them. So visually inspect the agitator, and if it's damaged, you should replace it. Now we need to check the tub baffles. They tumble the clothes in the washer. There are many different styles of tub baffles, but they all do the same thing. They're usually made out of plastic and attached to the inner tub. They're mainly found on front load washers. As the tub rotates, they tumble the clothes in order to help clean them. If a baffle is damaged, it could leave marks on your clothes as they tumble. Check the tub baffles, and if any are damaged, you'll have to replace them. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Next we need to look at the pulsator. It agitates the clothes during the wash cycle. Pulsators are used on newer high efficiency washers. They have ribs on them to help create the agitation motion as they move. Like agitators, they're located at the bottom of the inner tub. If it's cracked or damaged, it could be leaving marks on your clothes and you'll have to replace it. If you have a front load washer, then the last thing to check is the door boot seal. It provides a watertight seal between the outer tub and the front panel. Door boot seals are made of rubber and are secured to the outer tub and front panel with clamps. It's rare for this to happen, but if the rubber is getting old and starting to deteriorate, it could be marking your clothing. To access the door boot seal, all you have to do is open up the door and inspect it. If you see that the rubber is starting to break down, you'll need to replace it. Now here's that safety tip we promised you earlier. Washing machine fill hose inspection is often overlooked by most people. If your fill hose burst, it can cause severe water damage to your home. A fill hose can flood your home with up to 500 gallons of water per hour, so it's important to inspect them regularly. Make sure to check the entire hose for any signs of bulging or leaking. Also make sure the fittings aren't corroded. Then shut off the water and look at the washers and screens inside. If they're clogged, you can just clean them out, but if they're rusted or damaged, you'll need to replace them. When you reinstall them or put new ones on, make sure the hose fittings on each end are tight so you don't get any leaks. There are many different types of hoses. The most common ones are rubber or braided stainless steel. Rubber is the most common type of hose, but if you want extra burst protection because of where the washer is installed, it's recommended that you upgrade to the stainless steel type. Some of the newer systems even have an auto shut off feature that shuts the water off if a leak or change in pressure is detected. Regardless of the hose type or the warranty it has, it's important to check them at least one to two times a year because they can fail at any time. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now, and if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.